after thousands of inmates were broken out of prison, a state of emergency has been declared in Haiti. The Caribbean nation's government says armed gangs took over two prisons over the weekend. During the violence that ensued, reports say nearly all of the 4,000 inmates at Haiti's National Penitentiary in the country's capital, Port-au-Prince, escaped. Human rights group RNDDH says the penitentiary was built to house 700 people, but for years has been holding thousands. A nighttime curfew and a 72-hour state of emergency was declared across the nation in an attempt to restore order. Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry is out of the country on a trip to Kenya, where he asked again for support of a United Nations-backed security force. According to the UN, Haiti has about 9,000 police officers officers to support 11 million residents. The U.S. Embassy in Haiti has issued a level four do not travel security alert. It's urging all American citizens in Haiti to depart as soon as possible and warns others not to come. Officials say at least nine people have been killed. Four of them are believed to be police officers. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.